Hey and welcome to Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew and it's my mission to support you in building and maintaining a system in Notion which improves the quality of the education you deliver while significantly reducing your non-value adding workload. Helping you to give even more back to the students and winning back you the time you thought was gone forever to reports, planning, parents' evenings, and all that marking. Whether you've never even heard of Notion, use it a little bit in your personal life, maybe you used it quite a lot and only a little bit for teaching, whatever. I will show you how I've used it for well over a year now to transform every aspect of the admin side of being a teacher. But first, what is Notion? Notion is the self-build, all-in-one workspace for note-taking, knowledge and data management, and project and task management. If that's too much jargon for you, I can explain it as Notion attempts to be, and in my opinion does a pretty good job at being, everything for the admin management and admin side of being a, a knowledge worker in today's economy. And while it's great, and while it is great for all aspects of the knowledge work, I think it's particularly suited to the world of teaching and the particular demands and strains that we face as teachers in terms of managing so many different stakeholders, so many different tasks, so much different admin, which relates to different uh, people who need to be involved or don't need to be involved. It causes us to have to have certain bits of information at our fingertips at certain times and well out of the way at all others. Notion for me is perfect for this. Notion is the first thing I log on to every single morning. It's the last page that I look at before night and very often I'm checking it on my mobile on my way home, such as its broad utility for all aspects of managing my life, both personal and work. On this channel, uh, I will show you how I've done everything that I could possibly need to do from an admin perspective in Notion. I have uh, got lists of topics linked to resources. I have lists of my every single lesson linked to the topics, which then pull in the correct resources for that lesson. I have managed my homeworks. I have managed behavior. I have prepared for report writing. I've prepared for parents' evenings. I've reviewed my calendar. I've managed my personal tasks. I've organized my weekly reviews to make sure that I'm keeping on top of everything from like a slightly higher level than just the day to day. And perhaps for me, the highlight of it all is that I have now got myself set up that I have the exact correct resources at my fingertips in the exact correct lesson at the exact correct time. All on the same web page, all this is done on the same web page, all on Notion. So, enough of me. Let's get straight down into it, and I'll now take you across onto my Notion homepage. And what I'd like to show you today is a, a class dashboard. And this is a dashboard which, anytime I go into a lesson to teach a particular class, this is the view that I will have on my screen. Uh, surfacing for me the key bits of information I need to have there and then for those students, information on the homeworks, information on what I'm teaching that day, the resources that I'm gonna be using that day, information on um, reminders for me of things that I need to remember to do, all on this page. So let's get into it, enough of me talking, let's, let's have a look at the page now. Okay, so now looking at this, tab for the example class and we would have a separate tab like this for each of the different classes that we teach what i've got as the cover image for the class tab is the the whole timetable what i tend to do then is to make the background color where i have it green here that's intended to match the color of that particular class in the timetable so i'm quickly looking at this i want to know when i'm teaching the example class I can see this theme color of the example class is green. So I'm looking for the green lessons in the timetable. Just quickly draw your eye to that. Okay, and then just a quick note up the side here, students in the class 23. 
Okay, then moving down, I'm able to insert my own uh, icon here, E for this class, example class, if you're teaching first, second, nine, year nine, year 10, whatever it is, you can change that icon. I've got the title of the class, and I've got a few things here displaying, such as the tasks that I have relating to the example class. I've got the active days that I teach them, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday in this case. And then I've got a list of the students who are, and this is a, a notion, a reference function. We're going to function or reference functions in a separate video. This is a notion reference function, which pulls, um, pulls the names of the students from a separate database of a separate database of all my students onto this page. So I can quickly click on any of these students who, if you're a Harry Potter fan in this case, you'll notice I can click on Harry. I can see the full list of all my students and then I can click on Harry's page and view everything I need to view, all the information relating to Harry. There's nothing really populated in that yet but we'll populate that out for further videos. Okay, and then I can go down and click on the different students that are in the class. If I want to quickly bring them up. Now, I do have some properties in that table which are hidden, and we can create properties in that table just to suit whatever need or whatever function we're, we're trying to fulfill. But most of those functions I personally wouldn't want to be seeing or every time I'm teaching that class, teaching the example class, so I'll hide them. A little bit where I could drop a comment if I've got a quick note. I need to remember, remember exercise books, for example. I don't want to go and create a proper task. It's just a very quick note. I can type that in, um, but I'll delete that. And then really the meat of the uh, example class tab is in this today's lesson section. So I have different uh, toggles set where I can view different bits of this, depending on what I'm up to in the lesson. And really I'm walking into that lesson thinking, right, well, what's the first thing that I need to see in that lesson? And for this, I've created a view of my period by period planner, which is a separate planner, that, or a separate database that I have in my Notion system, which includes all the lessons that I teach to all of my groups. But for this one, I only want to view the lessons that I'm teaching to my example class. So I, that filter needs to be updated slightly. Um, so this filter would be set to example class at the moment. It is 5D, so it's quite slightly, setting slightly wrong, but you would be able to set that properly to show the lessons that you're actually teaching to the given class at the time. But assuming that we were teaching 5D, it doesn't really make any great difference. You can see that I am, again, the little arrow symbol there shows me that this column, this property in my table is referencing a different uh, database in my Notion system. And in this case, this is the topic in from the scheme of work. So I can click on that particular topic that I'm meant to be teaching or that I taught yesterday, for example, uh, and I can view what that topic was. And here we have the primary resources for that topic and the subtopics within the topic all available here to view on the on the same page. OK, I want to go and view the primary resources so then I can again, this is a reference to a different uh, database. So within this topic in this scheme of work, I can go in and I can view the different uh, lesson plans for each of the subtopics within the um, within the, the higher level topic. And clearly, once you set this up once, this is available to use every single year. So here I am arriving in lesson, say I arrived in lesson Tuesday, the 2nd of November. I can click right, I'm teaching that lesson today. Oh yeah, I'm teaching drawing straight line graphs, which is 15.2 in our textbook. Drawing straight line graphs, I can go in here I can very quickly view the lesson plan. I can view the, um, the, the state of requirements from the exam spec for that lesson. And then I can open the lesson plan in, in Google Docs because I've linked it from here. And I've got a few other um, properties filled out against that lesson plan. Uh, and I have 
in my planning for that week, I've gone in and I've selected the key resources that I'm going to use. And most of them for this particular topic, I'm quite happy teaching these lessons straight off the lesson plans provided by the, the textbook, provided along with the textbook. And I'll go into much more detail about the resources that are the resources database and this, the topics database. It's just to show you the view that you have and how quick and accessible and surfacing at the right time, the right place, you have all of these lesson plans. So if I quickly go through what I intended to teach in Tuesday's lesson, then I can quickly just click on, right, what I was going to teach on Thursday? Ah, we'll make a start on finding the equation in Tuesday's lesson, which is why I have this, this particular table filter to show me everything where the full day is on or after one week ago and everything up to or before one week from now. So this, you can change the filters, which are conditional in this case on the day. That's the current settings. And again, in a separate video, so make sure you subscribe in a separate video. I'll go into much more detail on how I can change those different settings. So moving on down, then I've got certain things that I want to make, remember every single lesson. Okay, I want to remember uh, to uh, award some merits, for example. So I can... Um, I can select for today's lesson, Harry's done very well. I want to, I can go in there very quickly, select it on all on this page, right, I'm going to award a merit to Harry later on, and then I can view all of the merits that I need to go into the uh, system later to update all of those in the formal system. But here in the lesson, it's very, very quick to do. And I can tick to say I've done the register. I can tick because I've created properties against whatever I'm required to do for my school. And here I've got a link nicely, conveniently placed to our particular MIS. Uh, so that's great. So those are things I need to remember every lesson. Uh, in lesson actions, so these are actions which uh, at another time I thought, right, I need to remember to tell the class that, I, that they've got tests on a particular day. So therefore I can create this uh, in my central action items tracker. I've created that action. Remember to tell the class this, and here it is. It appears I need I had the due date set for this for October the twelfth. So I've now done that. So I can tick it. It's as because I've set the filters accordingly. Once I hit done, that particular action has disappeared. So I'll just undo it, redo it. Once I click done, that action disappears due to the way I've got the filters set here where done is not ticked. So once it's ticked, then it's, I'm no longer going to view it. Okay, so moving on down, the other things that might come up in a lesson, we can have students that turn up late, students that I need to speak to at the end, or students that don't have the correct equipment for the lesson. And again, I can just very quickly in the lesson, make a note, right, Hermione didn't have the right kit today, so I'm going to, um, make a note that sh that needs to be recorded centrally in the system, but I don't want to do it in the lesson. I don't want to do deal with stuff like that after the lesson. So again, I'm going in there and um, oh yeah, spoke to her mind at the end, just so then I'm remembering who I've spoken to. Moving further through, we have our um, homeworks for the class. So for this one, I always filter to show me uh, all the homeworks where they were due to be set. I set them on the date, where the day they were set was on or after a week ago, or and on or after, on or before one week from now. So these are homeworks so for this particular class. I'm gonna set, I, I set one on Monday, I'm going to set one on Thursday, and I'm going to set one on Monday next week. And I, that's just my way of seeing sort of where that class are with their homeworks, which ones I have to mark, which ones I'm not setting. I've got nice links here straight to the homework task on the homework tracker. So again, it's very, very convenient. I can click on that link, it takes me straight to the task in the homework management system. And then finally, just some convenient links that I've got down at the bottom here. So 
if there's a, a, t a channel for the staff that are teaching that group on Teams or a channel for the class on Teams or the scheme of work for that group, then I can have links created here. And I'll just click on any of those links and it'll take me to that particular item on the um, for this particular class. And that's your class dashboard. So I hope that gives you a good feeling for what Notion can do. The rest of the series of videos that I'll be doing will be talking you through how I've set that up, the databases that are sitting in the background um, and feeding into that particular dashboard and everything else that comes in the system, which is Notion, which is my Notion, um, my Notion system for teaching. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I hope that's been super useful today. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos at least every week. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon.